Hey the YouTubers, Tom here from Tom's Test Kitchen and uh, I have some leftover pork and sausage from a previous cook and I was going to save the pork for some pork chops but it's really cold here today and I felt like making some chili so I thought, hmm, let me use that pork and that sausage um, to make some chili and see how it turns out so I've, I've diced up the pork you know, in small little dices as well as the, the sausage, that's the andouille sausage. And I've got a uh, minced onion. I'm going to saute all of this in some olive oil. i got chili powder and cumin. And I'm going to use some spicy V8. You know that stuff's good. So, stay tuned and let's see how this turns out. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is add a little olive oil brown up this sausage and pork. It's a pound of pork by the way and uh, six ounces of sausage or one of the, the sausage links. Those, they come two to a 12 ounce pack so it's about six ounces each. So I'm just going to brown this And I'll be adding my onions here in a little bit. So come back when this is when this is browned up a little. Okay, <clears throat> the pork and the sausage are browning up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the onions now because I like to give that all a chance to really get those flavors in there. Just to saute the onions and get them. Get that flavor infused. And now is when I like to add my uh, chili powder. I'm going to be adding three tablespoons of Gebhardt's chili powder. This is a really good chili powder that's available here in Texas. It's got a great flavor. I really like it. Just kind of stir that all in. Make it all happy. Oh boy, that smells good. <laughs> now I'm just going to add some cumin to taste. It's probably about a half a teaspoon because like I always say, a little cumin goes a long way. I love cumin. Yeah, it's starting to look like chili. Okay, I'm just going to saute this a little bit longer. Let those onions soften up. I'm going to turn this down, the heat down now. And then I'll add the, uh, add the V8 and just let it go. Oh, it looks beautiful. Okay, time to add the V8. Spicy V8. That stuff is spicy. And it's great for something like this. I just stir that in. I'm just going to cover this and let that simmer for a while. I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, that chili's been simmering for an hour with the top on, and I did not add any salt to it because I wanted to. wasn't sure if that sausage would uh, be very spicy or if the V8 would be very spicy, so just need to taste that. Tastes really good, but it does need salt. So I'm going to start with a, a teaspoon of kosher salt. It's got a great flavor though. Really good flavor. I 
Let's see. Let's see if we need to add more salt. Keep finding pieces of sausage. I want a piece of pork. Okay, here we go. That's really good. And uh, don't worry about me eating this right off the spoon. I'm making this for me and my family. And uh, it's not a, a sanitary issue with us, as it shouldn't be. If I was making this for you know public consumption, yeah, I would be doing it differently. But I, I get comments from people saying, oh, you took a taste of that and you put the spoon back in. This is homemade, folks. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just turn this off and just let that sit there until we're ready to eat. It's only 4.45, so I'm just going to let that sit there until we're ready to eat, probably around 7. And then I'll just slowly warm it back up because that, that will allow that those flavors to just like really settle in. Um, it, it tastes really good now, and it's going to taste even better later. So stay tuned. Okay, chili's been simmering for a while. I let it rest, and then brought it back up to temperature. Let's give it a taste. Just going to do a small, small taste test right here. Oh boy, that smells really good and looks great. Let's give it a taste. Mm. That is really good with the pork and the andouille sausage. Really good. No, and the sausage adds a nice smoky flavor to it. That's really good. <clears throat> nice kick from the <coughs> the spicy V8. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Don't need to use ground beef to make uh, make a good chili. There you have it.